Okay, so when I made this video, I assumed I was going to have it with the whole vlog of Houston, but everything that I'm bringing ended up being um, so long that it's basically one video. Um, I also was filming wrong. The I think it's like the, the ratio of the video or something. I can't think of what you call it, but it's a video shape. Instead of it being like long ways, it's going to be blocked and it's going to be aggravating. But if you want to watch it, this is everything that I brought down to Houston with me. And if you're wondering why I went to Houston, I recently got diagnosed with dyskeratosis congenita. There's no doctors around where I live, which I live in Texas. But in the area of Texas that I live in, which I'm not going to say, um, doesn't have any doctors that know about it. And I've had some of my doctors look up stuff and they everything that's really online is all outdated information and so it was recommended that I go to a doctor in Houston and um, figure out um, what they recommend and um, what they think about the information that I got with the genetic test, is, test which was that I have a mutation that would is contributed oh how do you say it I don't know how you word it but basically, I have the RTL1 gene, and that is associated, there was the word, that's associated with just keratosis congenita. So she was kind of like, tell, gonna tell me, like, d like confirm it for sure, because she knows about DC, and also tell me, like, um, what I need to worry about, what is, like, an accurate fear, and all that kind of stuff. So those vlogs will be in the future, too. Um, and yeah, so those vlogs will be in the future, but yeah, stay tuned and you can see what I brought to Houston with me. So, um, I don't know if I'm in the right setting. So tomorrow I am going to Houston. Um, you can probably hear my washer and dryer. If you can, I apologize. Um, but before I um, start about what I'm bringing and all that stuff, I do want to mention if this is filmed in the wrong, like, I don't know what to call it. I'm going to call it video shape. Um, it's, if it's all like 16.9 or whatever, then I apologize. I think I did it right. I'm super tired and I can't remember how to use my camera at the moment. So... We're just going to deal with it. But um, I'm trying not to bring a lot of bags. And I thought I was doing pretty good. But so far I have four bags. Which, that sounds that bad for me. But, um, so I have a bag for my clothes, computer, and then just my actual, like, purse or backpack or whatever. Um, and then I have a bag full of diapers. And, um, um, I guess they're called urinals. I'll show you travel you know so I'll show you everything in a minute but um there's going to be several areas where there's not a bathroom and I end up and I might end up having to go to the bathroom in the car hopefully that does not happen but um there I have incontinence but there's a certain level of when my bladder gets to a certain like level of fullness or whatever I have retention and I can't I wouldn't want to forcefully pee on myself in a diaper anyway so those but I also it would be impossible at that point don't know why um, it just is how it is so um, this type this bag is basically my diaper bag I have an actual diaper bag but it wasn't used for diapers um, so I'm not bringing that but um, so this has those travel journal things that I talked to you about I have there's three in each one I have more but um, that's what's in this bag, and then, of course, let me show you. The whole bottom of the bag is, has another plastic bag full of just normal diapers that I carry, which are, um, they're good nights. I'm going to eventually change brands. I'm probably going to try Willow first, but, um, I've been saying that forever, and I still haven't done it. Um, I just, I'm not a big fan of changing, and so we'll see whenever that happens. Um, it'll probably happen when I'm 100% forced to, so that's entirely everything that's in this bag. It's 
sold to the brim, but it's mainly just a bunch of diapers. Probably more than I need, but you can never be too safe. So that's what's in this bag. And then here I just have some clothes. <laughs> You're a biscuit. <laughs> so it's super simple. It's clothes. Uh, yoga pants. Yoga pants. Um, there's more that are rolled up. But then I have a bunch of pajama pants because I live in pajamas. Um, and I don't know how my sensory feel like how I'm gonna feel sensory wise when I'm down there so I have several different options more clothes than I'll definitely need um, but you know there's always a chance I get throw up on myself so better to have several options of the same type of stuff Lily is eating so just ignore her but then I have like a nightgown um, just a nightshirt underwear in case I decided to need underwear for whatever reason you never know um, these are uh, my tank tops, which is the basically the only shirt that I wear. Um, I'm sure y'all noticed that. Um, so I have several of those. They're all like rolled up and tucked. Several in there. And then I have pants, socks. These are socks that I can wear with my braces. Um, more yoga pants. See, everything is, there's a bunch of stuff in here, but it's just rolled up. Sunglasses, deodorant. I don't know if I'm showing you well enough. I'm not paying attention to my camera very well. Um, but more shirts. Yep, everything is pretty much hidden pretty well, but I know everything that's in here. But yeah, but let me close this back up. And then I have my actual bag or my purse. Hold on, let's do it this way. My actual purse, ignore my floor. It looks gross, but it's just concrete with paint on it. I used to paint a lot, and so um, it's stained with paint and other art supplies. Um, but yeah, I used to paint a lot. Lily, they're play fighting. But I, of course, have my little bag that has diapers in it. So I have a bag full of diapers, but then I also have what I would bring into the bathroom with me. Um, and then that's basically it in this bag. Um, and then my wallet will go in there. And then a few miscellaneous items that I'll probably pick up in the morning before I leave. Other things that will go in here later will be like, I'll show you in a minute. But let's get to what's actually still in here. I have a few medications. Um, I actually have found um, some Zofran. It's the dissolvable kind. I've tried it before, but um, they upped the dose. And so um, I'm actually able to take some medication at the moment. So that is cool. Um, so I might not end up having to get a feeding tube. But this is just a random Linzeth bottle um, full of random assorted pills that I need. Um, charger. Chapstick. And then I have a few loose pills that are Zofran and then a chapstick. And here... And then throw up bags. I have way more than that, but that's what's in this bag at the moment. Glasses that I don't wear, but I need in case I drive. Um, baby powder. Toothbrush and toothpaste, which I always keep this with me because I throw up all the time. But, so I don't have to pack that, it's already packed. But, yep, I got that. And then I have my computer. Which I was on the fence if I was going to bring it, but I think I've decided to bring it. But I also have this in there. It'll be, um, what do you call it? Hopefully, so I can, I'm going to bring my heating pad. But I'm hoping that this will allow me to use it in the car. I've had one in the past, but it didn't have enough voltage to, like, keep it warm. So this one is, like, 200 watts. And my heating pad uses 135, I believe it is. So we'll see if that works. So that is a bag just of it's not focusing but that's just the bag full of um my computer stuff but the other things that i'm going to bring is my diary um a book that i have all of my doctor's cards in it i'm making a mess and then like my planner with all my doctor's appointments 
in it. So I'm going to bring that. That'll be inside that big rack sack that I use as my purse. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Apparently she thought I was talking to her. Um, but I'll take some of the medications that I have. A lot of these things I don't use um, because I, I throw them up. But I'm... Um, but yeah, I have a lot of medication I should take, but I can't. But I can take some of it. Like, I'm able to now take ibuprofen. I don't know if y'all care about that or not. But I can take ibuprofen. I can now take my Linzef, which is a big plus. Because my I do have IBS, and it's very annoying not to be able to take that. Every now and then I can take these pills, which are salt sticks, which do help my um, pots a lot. Um, every now and then I'm also able to take my caffeine pills. Um, I take caffeine pills because I'm trying not to drink Dr. Pepper, but I cannot stay up without caffeine. Um, so, that's important. And then I just highlight creams and stuff back there for certain things. Like, costeochondritis is one of them. And then my, um, nose piercing frequently gets infected. So I have stuff for that. Um, and then, of course, chapstick. I don't know why I'm giving you a room tour at this point, but, yeah. So, um, I'm mainly going to bring this and my lens F and this is over and I didn't tell you all that. Next thing I'm gonna I will bring would be the KT tape. I'll put that in a separate bag. But um well this is not KT tape. It's a, it's kinesiology tape, but it's a, it's spider tech. Um and it's um spider tech gentle. Um it's the only brand that doesn't make me react so bad that I can't wear it. Um, I've tried several other brands and they all make me have really bad reactions to the point where it looks like I can have a sunburn or I've had some tear off skin, you name it. And you, you know, I know that you use oil to take it off. So if you have like really sensitive skin or like mast cell, maybe EDS, I recommend you trying this. It's thinner, but it's better than nothing. <sighs> so um, I have some stuff that I'm not going to pack until the, the morning of, which will be tomorrow. Um, but, you know, like chargers and stuff in my pillows. I'm going to bring my big pregnancy pillow. Um, I don't know if I told y'all, but I'm going to flip it over. I don't know if I told y'all, but my mom put a big, um, meh, um, blow up mattress in the van. Um, and so, um, hopefully I can sleep through the car ride. I do not make, I, do, I don't handle car rides well at all. They make me very nauseous and... I flare, like my pain flares a lot, um, in car. So uh, we're trying to make it, um, as, like, I guess as tolerable as possible because I don't want to end up getting, like, halfway there and tell her I need to go home, which she would keep driving. But I don't want to end up, like, getting in that mind state where I can't handle it anymore. And then, of course, I'm going to bring my heating pad. I'm not going to pack that again until tomorrow because I'm going to use it tonight um what else I'm hoping we can bring a big ice chest but I don't know where we could fit it because you know the mattress takes up a lot of space and the rest of the stuff I got to do is put things up so that my cats don't destroy it so like any loose cords um anything that they can break um I've already cleared off the top of my shelf besides the um tinkerbell that's up there and then the stuff that's on top of the shelf at the very top, I gotta take off and put it in my closet. Um, but yeah, I don't, I'm nervous, but I'm not that nervous. Um, I think I will be more nervous when I wake up in the morning, or hopefully I do wake up in the morning. Um, I have, my schedule's been really messed up, so hopefully I don't fall asleep and then wake up and then I'm up all day. And then, you know, when it's time to leave, I haven't really slept enough yet that would make it worse but we'll work it out I'm holding the camera really lopsided sorry about that <sighs> but yeah um I still feel like I'm recording in a the wrong like I think it's called ratio but I don't know it's been such a long time since I've used my camera I've really been slacking on um vlogging I haven't vlogged in a while so there's a lot of appointments that I could have vlogged and I just didn't um but there's so many reasons I don't want to just like spew them all out because it just sounds like I'm um, giving excuses. I'm going to try, try to vlog the experience as best as possible, but I'm not the best vlogger. I always forget to vlog. Um,
but I'll do my best. Um, and, you know, we'll see how it goes. But, yeah, that's everything that I'm bringing so far. There might be some stuff that I'm forgetting. Um, and I'm sure there's some, uh, like, bringing medical records and stuff like that. But I think that's it. I do need to find my medical bracelet before I leave. I lost it, like, two weeks ago. So, hopefully I can find that almost packed, but not fully. But that's everything. So, as I said in the beginning, I was not expecting this to be a whole video, so I'm going to sign off. And um, don't forget that I love you. Thank you for staying alive. Remember, you know your body better than anybody else. And I'll see you next time. Bye.